Here we have the Mantis Man from Dream Rocket. Do not know the official name for this guy. I think it's Mantis Man or Mantis Human. I think it's Mantis Human. Um, yeah. So this guy, I think it's supposed to be from Common Rider, um, the, the from the original series where they had like the uh, Cobra Man and Mantis Man, all these like kind of um, insect villains that were in the in the series. So this is the Prey Mantis one, of course, um, from Dream Rocket. I don't know if I mentioned that. As you guys can see, awesome colorway from Dream Rocket. They also they always uh, do really really great colors, color combinations, and um, really they add a lot of um, details to it. Like they would add like a color change or like a pearlescent spray. In this case, this one has a pearlescent spray on the uh, whiter portions of it. I got this at Taipei Toy Festival a few years back and uh, saw it on display. It was really, really eye catching because, I mean, obviously the color is very, very uh, vibrant. So I decided to pick it up. And I, after, when, when I bought it, they told me that this was actually a one off. So it's very interesting to, it was very uh, nice surprise to do. And it's very cool for them to do stuff like that, you know, kind of have toys that are on their display and then all of a sudden tell you, oh, hey, it's a one off, by the way. Uh, after you decide to make the purchase, which is really, really, um, I think it's a very nice experience. So whenever you guys see them at um, the, the conventions, definitely check out their booth. Um, as long as you see anything you like, I would recommend you really picking it up from them. Uh, for articulation, let's go with that first. Um, the head is articulated. The uh, torso here and the midsection here is art can move. You guys see that. The legs can move as well. And uh, my favorite part is that the pincers or the claws can move as well. These are both articulated on both sides. And a very cool uh, touch is that this side has a skull in it, which is uh, my, one of my favorite parts about this guy. Cause obviously other, other than that, it would just look like a praying mantis with legs, with like kind of rest, legs and like wrestler boots. So this um, skull part really added um, a lot of, made me like it a lot more. What I don't like about it is that the, um, the wings are quite large on the back. I'm not sure if it's used for balancing purposes so that you can balance the claws, but um, it takes up a bit of room because of that. So uh, let's look at it kind of on the back. You got little spikes in the back and the, the wings there. So all in all, uh, quite a nice figure. It's a bit hard to, it has a lot of posability, which is quite nice. Um, depending on, on your, on you really. Some, some people actually don't like the posability, but this is fun, it's a nice change because it feels more like a little bit of an action figure because you have a bit more uh, articulation, a bit more posability, especially with the uh, pincers. There you can do a lot of stuff with that. Uh, kind of make it look like it's getting ready to attack and such. Um, yeah, that's about it. I would definitely recommend this guy. I mean, I would dec rec definitely recommend most of the guys from uh, Dream Rocket. They're, they have a lot of really nice designs and their paint application is uh, really superb. So definitely if you guys like it, definitely check it out. Um, he does have web shop releases and uh, convention releases, so you can check them out on Instagram. I think it's quite worth, if you ever, if you don't get a chance to go to conventions, um, they do have shop drops. So definitely um, uh, stay or follow them on Instagram and uh, keep yourself, get yourself updated on their posts or their drops. Thanks.